Hey guys, welcome back to the Park Hill South video blog. We're continuing with some basics so we can all get on the same page before we start reviewing and enjoying products together. And today I want to cover what I think is one of the most misunderstood concepts of opening and enjoying a bottle of wine. And that is letting the wine breathe. What a lot of people do is they simply open up their bottle, they put it on the counter and say, we're going to let that breathe. The only problem with that is what's really breathing. This little dime sized portion in the neck of the bottle here, that's not going to do us much good towards the wine opening up towards all the flavor and aroma potential that is packed in there. So what we want to do is get oxygen incorporated into all of this bottle. Now the traditional way for doing that is ye old decanter. Now these are great for entertaining or if you have an older bottle of wine that throws a lot of sediment. But the fact is, most of the wine consumed in the U.S. especially is consumed within two weeks to a month of purchase. Many of you may have never even had sediment in your bottle, so why do we really need a decanter? If you're out at a restaurant, feel free, because you're not the one that has to wash and dry this. Because Let's face it, they're a pain. So, 95% of the time, we're going to leave yield decanter in the cupboard. And we're going to go to something all of us have, juice pitcher. Yes, you've got a sommelier telling you it's okay to dump wine into a juice pitcher. We're breaking down barriers here. See, wine doesn't have to be intimidating or stuffy. You can have a little fun with it. That's right. Pour your bottle in, stir it around, swirl it around. And from there, back into the bottle. Now, a funnel does help out with this if you have not practiced this several hundred times like I have. And from there, we can let it sit. You do this a few hours before the party, people are going to think you spent a lot more on the wine than you did. One other thing I want to interject here is the wine aerator. Now, many of you may have invested in one of these, and they do serve their purpose. They're good for some wines, not so good for others. So for the time being, if you want to use this, let's agree to never more than a quarter to half the bottle running through the aerator. I don't know what wine you're drinking at home. The wine aerator may be perfect for it, it might not. So for the time being, until I do a further, more in-depth review on these, let's all agree, never more than half the bottle. Again, our wine goes back into the bottle. And depending on our time limit, it's going to be ready to enjoy when we are. I think this is going to go a long way towards your being able to enjoy the wine sooner. Once you get some air flowing in there, get it opened up, uh, you'll be amazed uh, how far that goes towards you having a nice glass of wine when it's time for it. Let me know what you think and let me know your questions. I'll see you next time. Cheers.